Hey, have you ever figured out how to quit drinking? You stop making the damn excuses. That's how you quit drinking. So I feel like I had a very unfair advantage because a lot of you keep asking like how I did it, what I did, and honestly, like how I did it is probably one of the hardest things that anybody can do. It's a mental toughness program. And going through it not only like teaches you discipline, it teaches you how to be mentally strong and overcome things. And that is how I did it. 75 hard changed my life. Not gonna lie, it was one of the hardest things. And guess what? At the end of the day, I kept saying, no, we have to find a way to not fail this. So many people in life look for ways to fail something. They give up, they make an excuse like, oh, well, it's 1030, I'm not gonna be able to get my workout in. I'm not gonna be able to get the rest of my water in. But I always found a way not to fail. Failing was just not acceptable. The further I got into 75 hard, the more I realized that I cannot fail. There was no failing. I had a world watching me. I had people looking up to me and everybody thought that I would fail by not being able to quit drinking. Well, I proved everybody wrong. I took that negative energy and I ran with it. Literally ran with it. Got to the end and I have not wanted to touch a drink at all ever since I started 75 hard. The first three weeks were brutal. I'm not gonna lie. So during 75 hard, like the first three weeks are hard because you're adjusting, you're working out twice, you're drinking a lot more water than you're used to, you're quitting drinking, you're not putting sugar in your body, you're not eating like shit. So you are cleaning your fish tank. Too many of us would rather not clean that fish tank and just poison our bodies or find a drug to make us lose weight. But really, it's called discipline and mental strength. So way too many times do people make an excuse to give up. I can't do it, it's too hard. Well, it's just who I am. But I would highly suggest those of you that haven't tried 75 hard, do it and don't give up. I think what helped me is I did it with an accountability group, which doing it solo, I don't recommend. I mean, I'm not saying don't do it, but I just don't recommend doing it alone because you need accountability. You need somebody to help push you and not let you give up when you wanna give up. I drink easily a gallon of water a day and and when I don't drink enough water, I can feel it in my stomach, my hands swell. So water is definitely a huge. And then you don't drink alcohol, zero alcohol, no sips, no nothing, no alcohol, and no eating like crap, no treats, no sugar. Obviously we all know fruit has sugar in it. Come on people. Um, I had fruit and you have to do two workouts a day. One of them has to be outside, 45 minutes long, two times a day. Both of them can be outside, but you have to do both of them. They can't both be inside. One of them has to be outside. And then you have to read 10 physical pages, no fiction. You don't read fiction a day. So there's like five things, water, no alcohol. You have to like, so no treats. You have to follow nutrition or like good nutrition, reading. And the last one, is you have to take a daily picture. If you forget to take this picture, one, you'll be sorry because the results daily are absolutely amazing and you have to start over. So if you fail any of these, you have to start over. And I am one that I'm like, man, if I'm like 25 days into something, I am not gonna start over. I just wouldn't do it. So there was no failing for me. I did not want to fail. Didn't want to let people down. Definitely wasn't gonna be the first one out of the group to fail. And not gonna lie, so many people were like, you can't do it, you can't do it. Yes, my husband included. He was like, you're not gonna be able to go without alcohol. Well, I proved him wrong and everybody else around me wrong. Everybody probably thought that it was just a joke. Oh, Megan not drinking, <laughs> whatever. Well, joke's on them because they're the ones still unhealthy and drinking. 
not me. Um, I mean, the eating part, literally, I had to get creative. I was in the kitchen more. I would, I started making like healthy alternatives. I would get like chocolate protein powder and the PB2 powder and make Reese's peanut butter cups. I found a way to make healthy Snickers. I found a way to like make protein balls healthy and yummy. I did a variety of protein balls. I think there might be a video somewhere. Um, I would make yummy salads. I just got way more creative with my food and desserts and enjoyed it a lot. I, um, if I couldn't get a workout in, I know some, I might get some haters for this, but as long as I did two 45 minute walks a day, because sometimes your body is just so tired, especially working out two times a day in the heat, because we did it during summertime, changing your diet, changing your lifestyle, I mean, it just kind of starts, you start getting tired. But, so even if it was 10 o'clock at night, I made sure that I would pace back and forth outside. I would walk laps around my yard. I did everything that I could. Even my daughter would start like walking with me um, when we would run around the field in my backyard. I would like, I just started really enjoying it. I would make sure that I got out and went on hikes more, adventured more. I found books that I really like to read. I found out that I don't like reading male books per se. <laughs> I like listening to them, but I didn't really like reading them. I read a lot of female confidence, personal development books, because um, it's a no fiction. You don't read fiction. Uh, personal development is huge. I was listening to podcasts a lot, but then I had to, I had to read. I chose to do 75 hard, so yes, I had to read. Um, and it really helped me. Those books made me push to the next level and not give up. And honestly, even if you don't do 75 hard, I highly suggest listening to inspirational podcasts, reading inspirational books. It just helps you change your mind towards a lot of things. And they make you, like, they tell you that you are good enough. I inspired so many people to try 75 hard. My neighbor did it. She's a nurse and she did not fail. She had daughters in different sports. Uh, like, so one played piano, one played volleyball and they played soccer. Super busy, super busy mom. And she made zero excuses and she did not fail. That's the thing. Too many people find way too many excuses and decide not. They just like, oh, today's hard. I'm just gonna give up. I don't wanna do this anymore. But have you ever tried to actually finish something that you started and realized that it's so empowering to actually accomplish something so hard? A lot of us can't. I even told my doctor that I did 75 hard and he's like, a lot of doctors couldn't even do it. And you know, there's a lot of people that haven't heard of 75 hard. Andy Frisella, episode 208, hands down, that's the rules. You do not make excuses. You do not, if, if you're a sugary drinker, like I had to adjust my coffees to, I ended up just getting half and half in my coffee instead of a vanilla latte or whatever. So even if you're like, you're a coffee drinker and you think that like, well, I'll just get half the sugar, like one pump, maybe two. No, 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 it's no sugar. And I think that's the problem is a lot of us still try to find like cheap ways to, not cheap ways, but like lazy, lazy reasons to be able to still finish a program, but not do it like the right way. I drank a lot of black coffees, iced black coffees. Actually during 75 Hard, now that I think about it, I only did black coffee. I didn't even put half and half. I just recently learned about putting half and half and heavy cream in my coffee through Jonathan's carnivore diet. What we did for nutrition is we ate clean. I, we didn't eat crappy food. We made sure that, I was making sure that I like was, I wasn't like calculating my macros per se but I was making sure 
that I was hitting. Because once you do your macros and you've done it for a long time, you kind of know what your plate should look like and how you should feel after a meal and what you should be like eating. So anyways, I would make sure that I had a lot of protein with each meal and I got more adventurous with meals as well, which was good. And my kids, like, they, they just started enjoying everything that we were doing. Like the little like twists in food. Colton started loving like the healthy like desserts that I was making. And there's literally no excuse not to be able to finish something. There's always an alternative. There's always support. There's always a community. You just have to be able to do it. My 75 hard journey was so life changing for me. Yeah, should I do it again? Probably because I mean, we all need to do like work on our mental health, mental <laughs> strength per se. And I was going through so much during that year that I think that it really helped me overcome a lot of the things that I was dealing with. And even I told my counselor, I said, I, I honestly think 75 hard helped more than counseling at that time because I had to, it pushed me to work on my mental toughness and strength. And I became so much more aware of things in my life, what I didn't want to be, who I didn't want to be, like what I aspired, like I wanted, I aspired to be more. I didn't want to be lazy in life. I don't need things handed to me. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to get things done for you and stuff, but you also, like, if you want respect and nice things, you have to actually work for it. I, you know, I just, I learned that being lazy is not an excuse. And 75 hard teaches you to move your freaking body, drink your freaking water, eat the right way, let go of alcohol, and then those pictures physically show you the results. Absolutely amazing. I had no idea that I had so much transformation physically to do. Yes, mentally I knew I had a freaking boatload, but I did not realize that I had so much physical until I saw the before and after pictures and was like, holy crap. So, getting rid of alcohol, changing your nutrition, drinking your dang water, working out, it's personal development, self, just, it makes you more self-aware about what you want in your life and who you want in your life and what you don't and who you don't want in your life. And I'm telling you, it is life-changing. If, if I could give you one tool to help you quit drinking, 75 Hard is that tool. So if you wanna see more videos on 75 Hard, if you wanna hear more people's journeys, because all of our journeys are different, we all do it differently, and you just have to just do it. If you want to know more about it, feel free to reach out, comment below, let me know if you've done it, tell me your thoughts, or if you've tried it and didn't succeed, like what happened, just give me your thoughts. I know like a lot of you probably, so many of you I know have heard me talk about it, but just, just give it a shot, get a group of people together, and push accept and go for it. Run with it and your life will be, it will be changed. You just can't sneak the alcohol. So many times people are like, nobody's ever gonna know. Nobody's ever gonna know. I'm like, I can't, like, I can't. Like, I, it, that would be cheating. And I would not want to be that person that would sneak alcohol. I didn't sneak sugar, I didn't sneak alcohol. Like, I did everything by the book. Maybe I didn't work out as hard as they say you should work out, but I personally don't believe in killing myself every single workout, especially twice a day. And through 75 Hard, I realized that walking is absolutely amazing for our health. Like, I literally will walk every single day now if I don't have the strength to do like weight training. But through 75 Hard, I quit drinking. I changed my eating habits. Yes, I suck at eating sometimes. I learned that walking and weights are absolutely key. You don't need to kill yourself every single workout. I was doing HIT constantly because I was trying to outrun a bad diet. You cannot outrun a bad diet. So you learn so much about yourself and so many things through this program that I highly suggest giving it a shot, quit making the damn excuses, 
and move on with your life. Be a better person. Do better for your family. Do better for your friends. Do better for yourself. Do better at your job. Like, I mean, the only thing holding you back from anything is yourself. So stay tuned for the next one. Like and subscribe so we can reach more people so we can keep helping more and more to quit drinking and change their lifestyle.